Okay, welcome to the review of the Open Heavens Daily Devotional. It's the second day of August 2023, and we're looking at a topic that says, For His glory. For His glory. Let us pray. Our Father, we worship you and we say thank you for the privilege to study your word. We ask that you please teach us yourself and let your name be glorified in our lives. In Jesus' name, Amen. You're welcome again. It's the review of the Open Heavens Daily Devotional. And we're looking at a topic that says, He's for His glory. For His glory. And we'll be taking our Bible reading from James. James chapter 4, verses 1 to 10. James 4, verses 1 to 10. And I'll be reading from the New King James Version. Where do wars and fights come from among you? Do they not come from your desires for pleasure that war in your members? You lost and do not have, you murder and covet and cannot obtain. You fight and war, yet you do not have because you do not ask. You ask and do not receive because you ask and miss that you may spend it on your pleasures. Adulterers and adulteresses, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Whoever therefore wants to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. Or do you think that the scripture says in vain the spirit who dwells in us ends jealously? But it gives more grace, therefore it says God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Therefore submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Lament and mourn and weep. Let your, laughter, let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and He will lift you up. Lord, and that I say amen to that in Jesus' name. And may the Lord bless the reading of His word in Jesus' name. Now, our memory verse is taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31. 1 Corinthians 10, 31. And it says in the King James Version, Whether therefore ye eat or drink or whatsoever ye do, all to the glory of God, everything you do, no matter what it is, do it to the glory of God. A nutshell Bible reading is also saying, Humble yourself before God and He would lift you up. Meaning, put God first in everything and He will definitely lift you up. Now, whenever you ask, God for anything. Make sure that it is something that will bring glory to Him, glory to His name. Father, the Lord is sharing a secret with us here today that this will, this is going to help indeed in us receiving positive answers to our prayers when we align our requests with the will of God. So they say that that's the kind of prayer that gets the attention of God. So God can decide to ignore requests. Yes, he, he, loves, he loves us, He loves His children. But if you're asking for something that is at variance to His will, then why would He want to answer such a prayer? So even as His child, as a child of God, ensure you know His will concerning the matter and then pray in line with, that, with His will. And you can be sure that you will receive answers, positive answers to your prayers. Um, Anna was used as a case study here from 1 Samuel 1, 1 Samuel chapter 1 verse 11 and I quickly just read it says and she vowed a vow speaking about Anna and said O Lord of hosts if thou wilt indeed look on the affliction of thine handmaid I remember me and not forget thy handmaid but will give unto thine handmaid a man child then I will give unto him I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life and there shall no razor come upon his head great prayer. She needs a child, she needed a child, and she, some, for some reason she knew, she probably knew God needed a prophet. And then there was a bargain, I said, give me a child, I'll give you my, I'll give him back to you, give me a man child, I'll give him back to you. And look at what happened. God did give her the man child. She did give him back to God. He became a great prophet meeting the need that God had. And interestingly, God gave her five more children. She that was called barren initially. See, seek to glorify God first and you will see him giving you more than you asked for. He will give you more than just, I mean, Anna asked for just one child and got five extra after she fulfilled her, after she received 
and gave birth to Samuel and then fulfilled that promise by giving him back to God. So no uh, Romans 9:17 Romans 9:17 says for the scripture said unto Pharaoh even for this same purpose have I raised thee up and I might show my power in thee that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Hmm, a secret there. So yes, the, the Lord defeated Pharaoh, he delivered the children of Israel. And we may say he did that because he loves them. Yes, he does, he did, he does love the children of Israel. However, this scripture in Romans 9.17 is telling us he destroyed Pharaoh to show the might of his power across the world it was really a statement that the Lord was looking to make. So if you align yourself with God's will and then make a request based on that, you can't, emphasizing this again, you can't rest assured that God will be answering your prayers. So the real reason God, yeah, so an emphasis is saying God destroyed Pharaoh to make his name and his glory you know, to and majesty to be known throughout the earth. So God's agenda is always superior to man's own. If you align your agenda to his, then you will get what you want. Uh, but our key point to this is align your agenda with God's purpose and you will never lack again. But the question before we even begin to start saying let's align our prayers to his will will be have you accepted jesus christ as, his, as your lord and savior and do you have a cordial relationship with him if your answers to these two questions are no then there's no way you can even begin to align your prayers to his will because of course our sins will keep him away from answering and hearing our prayer so share this prayer with me and say lord jesus forgive my trespasses cleanse me with your blood I want to align with your will and your purpose for my life because I know that's the only way I can really thrive and succeed. Please cleanse me, draw me into your family, and let your name be glorified. In Jesus' mighty and holy name, we're afraid. If you said that prayer, I say congratulations to you. You're now a child of God. You're now welcome into his family. Begin to align your prayers to his will, and you will begin to see great results from your prayers. God bless you.